My name is Melissa Kaminsky, and this is a presentation on the Harvard case study, Paul Levy, taking charge of the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Beth Israel Deaconess, or BID, was failing to stay financially viable. Paul Levy was hired as CEO to attempt implementation of a turnaround plan. This presentation will analyze Paul's work as a leader and manager using various public management resources, as well as videos and documents from the Harvard Case Study Multimedia Pack, cited at the bottom of the slides. Before an analysis of Levy's work, one must have an overview of the Boston hospital environment at the time. In 1995, two hospital systems formed in Boston, made up largely of Harvard-affiliated hospitals. First was Partners Healthcare System, two strongly led hospitals with quality physicians. The system was created to capture a bigger portion of the market and to gain clout with insurance companies. After Partners was formed, Paul Levy stated that the other hospital leaders felt they also needed a merger in order to stay competitive. Beth Israel merged with Deaconess Hospital, forming BID, and they connected with five others to create the care group system. According to an April 12th email by Paul Levy, Care Group was established to achieve greater market presence to enable reimbursement contracts with insurance companies, to achieve certain economies in centralized systems like Care Group, and to provide greater access to capital to all affiliates. BID is the focus of this presentation, as Levy was designated their CEO in 2002. This merger of two hospitals formed the largest hospital in Care Group. BID is a Harvard teaching affiliate and academic research hospital with the still standing slogan, we never forget that before you're a patient, you're a person. However, BID encountered many issues. Cultural issues arose because Beth Israel and Deaconess were different in their day-to-day -day operations. BI was established to provide a place for Jewish doctors to practice and to ensure Boston had a high-class academic medical center. They were known for their quality of research and teaching, as well as their quality of compassionate care. Deaconess emphasized their surgical specialties and quality of care, but had less of an academic focus. Additionally, financial problems arose because of what Levy stated was a terrible job implementing on the business side of the house. They lost volume and had poorly executed contracts with insurance companies, and they suffered from reductions in Medicare payments related to federal actions of the late 1990s. Further, the debt of all care group hospitals was aggregated. If one hospital did poorly, the system had to pick up the difference, causing resentment throughout the network. Previously, the care group and BID shared a CEO who had failed to implement a turnaround plan. In fiscal year 2000, BID lost $50 million, which then increased the following year to $67 million. Levy explained that there was a failure to execute leadership and governance in the hospital. The board of directors did not set clear objectives and people were not held accountable. When he took over, Paul Levy exemplified the many diverse qualities of what public management literature calls leadership. One of the first authors to focus on the topic was James McGregor Burns, who broke leadership into two distinguishable roles, transactional leadership and transformational leadership. Warren G. Bennis and Bert Nannis continued the research in 1985. They knew that companies were becoming more complex and they distinguished between leaders and managers. They felt that many organizations tended to be overmanaged and underled. In 1996, John Cotter took Bennis and Nannis' vision a step further when he wrote what is now regarded as a seminal work on transformational leadership entitled Leading Change. The book stated that true transformational leadership needs both management and vision. In Cotter's early work, he references eight crucial steps to effectively leading change, all of which Levy successfully harnessed. In an effort to preserve brevity in this presentation, I will explain these strategies as we examine Levy's work. 